So for the last 20 plus years, I've been teaching my nutrition program to my clients and I've really structured it in a simple to follow way for the average person uh, without a lot of money to make realistic uh, nutrition programs for themselves. So I teach a step-by-step -step process on, you know, when you're talking about nutrition, where do you start? What do you do? What's the first thing you do? What's a, is there an order that you have to do things in? Or should you do things in a certain order? And so I created a logical step-by-step -step way to create your own personalized nutrition plan for yourself, right? Based on foods, get this now, based on foods that you actually like, right? So where do you start? What do you do? So the first thing I tell people to do is to get a piece of paper out, make three columns for your macronutrients. The three macronutrients are protein, fat, and carbs. Right? So you're gonna make your three columns and then we're gonna write down in each column all the proteins that you like. Think about all the stuff you like in a protein category. And this also educates you on which foods go into what category. And as a general rule of thumb, for categorizing different foods, you wanna take the majority, the biggest uh, calorie and gram uh, amount of each macronutrient in a food product and that's how you're going to classify it whatever's got the most of for an example a lot of people uh, say you know hey almonds got some protein in them well, almonds got carbs in them too and then almonds obviously have fats in them right but what do the numbers say well an average serving of almonds comes out to about 12 grams of fat and six grams of protein and six grams of carbs. So obviously by double, it's got more fat in it, so it's a fat, right? So that's how we categorize it. Now, that's not based on science or you know any kind of technicalities or somebody's rules. That's just a common sense way to categorize foods based on what do they have the most of in them, right? Out of the macronutrients. So the almonds would go into the fat category. And then we got those three lists and we're gonna create these lists, think about all the proteins that you like, right? All the proteins. And we're gonna write them down, and then the carbs, and then the fats, right? And that gives you a starting point. So now you have a food list of all the stuff that you like that you can go on now and make your meal plan, and then your grocery list. Take care.